Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be, oh my God, okay. I feel like such a rich bitch because today we're gonna be trying out some new fall YSL goodies and like YSL just like, YSL does it for me. It, they're, I just, I love YSL so much. So I'm so excited that they sent me some stuff that I get to try out. I'm just like literally fangirling. So they sent me over a big bag full of a ton of goodies that I want to try out. They sent me some lip stuff, um, foundations, concealers, lip liner, eyeshadow, like fragrance, everything. They also sent a little card that said, this fall, get your edginess on point with the coolest and latest YSL beauty innovations. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna just clip my hair back. I always feel like I look really good with my hair like pinned back like this. So the first item that they sent to me is the Touche Eclat Blur Primer. And this is in the shade 02 Pink. And look at how pink this is. This is crazy. This is to fight dullness on all skins. And I think they mean like all like skin tones or something. It says that your pores are supposed to be diminished, skin texture is smooth, and your luminosity is supposed to be boosted. Okay, and it's suitable for all skin types, it says. Oh, oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Oh my God. Oh, it's so pink. I don't know how many pumps to use, so I just pumped it like 30 times. Oh my God, okay, let's just rub this in my hand. Oh my God, it's so soft. Oh God, I'm so excited to try this. You guys, I'm just gonna put this all on my face right now, like, oh my God. So excited. I'm just gonna blend this puppy in. Yeah, it is super pink. I'm not sure if like this is a product that I need specifically because I mean I'm already pretty pink, but um we're just gonna try it out, you know? I'm gonna try and see. If you have like super yellow tones to your skin, I think this is gonna be like something that you'll probably really wanna look into. Oh my god, it smells so good. I'm just like fangirling right now. But I will like be honest if I do really like it, but it feels super smooth right now. It's sticky, but it's not like too sticky. And the more I'm like kind of rubbing, the more it's kind of like blending into my skin and it's getting less and less pink. Ooh. My skin feels smoothed. I feel like my pores are filled because how could they not? Also, when I'm looking at this, there seems to be a little bit of like a fleck of like a gold like shimmer in there. Interesting, interesting. So, so far that gets a 10 out of 10 points in my books. I feel like all of these products will get a 10 out of 10, but we'll see. So they did send along two of their foundations. This is the All Hours Foundation. It has a matte finish and a 24 hour wear. Now the shades that they sent to me was 45 Bisque and 80 Chocolate. I don't think either of those are gonna suit me. Comes in like a cute little like almost bullet packaging and like guys like what this is why I love YSL. It's just like this is just so classy to me. YSL just hits it on the mark for me. So let's look at these. Sh Ooh, neither of these are gonna work for me unfortunately because they're too dark. But you know what would have been really sweet if I could like highlight and contour with how oh, this go up with um both of these. I feel like that'd be like a really like sick thing to do but this these are just they're not this one like could maybe should we try it let's just try a swipe oh gosh no 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 it's so dark it's too dark oh no oh yeah oh no that's okay sometimes guessing people's skin tones it can be hard no harm no foul they did send along two concealers though and this is the all hours full coverage 16 hour wear concealer and they did send me the shades um 0 0.5 vanilla and 4 sand so i can use this but i'm going to quickly put on a foundation what foundation do I want to use? I don't know, but let's maybe try the concealer out first. So I'm going to go in with the shade 0 0.5 and let's just test this. Oh my God, it's so light. Oh gosh, yes. See this? This is my skin color. <laughs> 0.5. Let's just try it out on. Ooh, it seems really creamy. I don't think it really has a scent. I do have a beauty blender here and maybe I'll just bop this around with my beauty blender oh shit oh it's very full coverage okay oh shit not bad a little bit more over on these spots ah hell let's just put it everywhere and then i'll put foundation on the spots that i need put this here 
here, here. Ooh, this really spreads out nicely too. Should I just do a full face of concealer? <laughs> you know what? It's really nice because it's not super heavy, but it has a lot of pigment to it. Like you can see that I'm like really like concealed on camera, but like in real life, like it doesn't look super heavy. Like um, Urban Decay, their all nighter concealer. It's like so heavy and like it's so thick. This is like nice and like light. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna put a foundation on just because I don't want to like waste the concealer all around my face. What should we use? Should we use Armani since we're like using all high end? Yeah, let's use our my Armani one. So this is the Elastic Silk UV Foundation in the shade number two. Guys, I'm almost out of this. I'm like so sad. There's only like, I can feel there's only like a little bit left of this and I'm like, been like sparingly using this. Oh, I feel beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see how like light this concealer is. Like it's really not super heavy on my skin and it looks like really natural. And it's not yet like super creasing into my eye creases, but you know, it is what it is. It, it'll, it'll happen. I'm going to apply just a little bit more, just right here, just as I'm zoomed up, just so you can see it blending out. Ooh, it's almost like it like has like some sort of like HD powder in it or something. It's just like so freaking nice. At this point, I'm just going to finish my complexion. I'm going to add a little bit of contour, a little bit of blush, and I'll be right back. All of the products that I use to complete my complexion will be listed in the description box down below. And now let's move on to eyes. Again, the product will be listed down below for my brows. Another product they sent along right here is the Full Matte Shadow. And this is in the shade Tantalizing Taupe. I'm obsessed with this color. This is just like so up my alley. I'm not sure if I've used this in a video yet or not, but I'm going to right now. So this is a 16 hour wear cream eyeshadow. I'll show you what I like to do. So I've already primed my eyes. You don't necessarily need to prime your eyes. Now I'm just gonna take a brush. This is a Fenty Beauty blending brush. And I like to put this on my hand first. So I'm just gonna dip my brush into there. And if you've ever watched a Bob Ross tutorial, just get that color right into that brush. Just saturate the tip of that brush, okay? Now I'm going to start just slightly swiping that into my crease. And I don't want to deposit too much color into my crease because I want the most color just on my eyelid. But I am going to be putting this everywhere on my lid. But just like softly blending into the crease. And then as I'm getting closer to my eyelid, I'm going to apply more pressure on my brush. And this formula like does dry down. You can see it like already like kind of drying down on my hand. It dries down to like a almost like a waterproof kind of formula. So, but you do have time to work with it, but just it dries, okay? I'm also gonna take another, oh, the brush is kind of dirty. Um, another Fenty Beauty brush and just pick up the rest of that color and just swipe that right over top of my eyelid. And you can totally like go straight onto your lid with this. I don't like doing that first of all because it's cold and I hate like really cold things and really hot things. <laughs> it's like a thing of mine like <laughs> my sister always laughs at me and like if I get a coffee or something like I literally wait like an hour before I drink it because it's just like so hot and I hate like ice drinks. I just hate like the polar opposites of things. I just like 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 lukewarm you know like that's what I like. There we go. That just amped up the saturation on my eyelid. And then I'm just gonna take that blending brush and whatever is residual on there, I'm just gonna kind of blend all over. I do wanna drag a bit underneath my eye, so just on that flat shader brush, whatever is residual on there. That's my word of the day, isn't it? Residual. I'm gonna just blend that right under. The highlight that I use for my face is the Wet n Wild Bloom, which if you guys know, this is my obsession. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on my tear duct and then swipe that underneath my eye about a third of the way. See, 
Isn't that the easiest look you've ever done in your life? I finished my eyes off with just a little bit of like a little wispy lash, nothing too crazy. And now it's time for lips. So they sent along two of the slim leather matte lipsticks. Here I have shade number 12 and shade number 14. And this is super cool. The packaging on these is like so so gorgeous the black and the gold it just gets me and look at this cute little like square lipstick isn't that so cool it's so geometric and i'm just i'm living for this I feel like this is just like such a contrast to their like previous like packaging and even their logo that's all like round and like wispy and this is just so like blocky and i'm i love it okay so let's try them on so I'm gonna start off with the shade number 12, which is just like a nice like rosy hue. Oh, it smells good. There's number 12. What do you guys think? It's like a little bit more corally than I expected it to be, but I guess, I guess it's correct. This was like really pigmented, like one swipe, you get like full pigment, super comfortable. I know this is a matte, but it feels really creamy so I think I'm gonna like maybe let it like sit for a little bit to like harden up a little you know right I want to try one of their bullet lipsticks now so this is the rouge pure couture uh, pure color satiny radiance okay that was a tongue it was a mouthful this is in the shade 81 which is called violin violin it's not violin because violin doesn't have an E what is this shade name anyway look at how gorgeous this is it's so heavy it feels like it feels like money and it looks like money like this is so gorgeous i can't this needs to go in a bit more so this looks like a nice like berry like wine kind of color i can't wait to put it on they did send along a lip liner but it's like a little bit of a pinky lip liner and i think i should have used this with the one i just put on because this will not go with this so unfortunately i'm not going to be using that in this video let's get this on this is like oh my god it's so smooth oh my god okay this lipstick is super pretty so i did just fix up some of the lines on my lips with a little lip well this isn't it's actually an eyebrow brush but regardless it does the same thing Ooh, i like you this color let's take this out so i can get the full the full look oh god okay that's a well it's a little bit of a big hair but hey i'm kind of into that okay this lipstick color is really pretty i'm not sure how i'm gonna wear this because satin lipsticks aren't necessarily my favorite but i really like this color i feel like i feel like i'm looking like a bailey you know you know you just like feel like you look like yourself and this is kind of like me in my element like a nice like dusty like rose shadow and like a dark lip Ooh, baby anyway thanks so much for watching you guys i had a lot of fun trying out these new goodies and feeling like the richest version of myself ever <laughs> because like i would never be able to like afford this stuff like all of this stuff like maybe a few little items like as treats but like this stuff is like high end right anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye guys